Good morning. Good morning and uh, welcome to Thursday, June the 8th, 2023 to Peace Through the Word Daily Devotional Ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona and LCMS Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod Congregation. I'm Pastor Ron York of that congregation and so good to be able to welcome you worldwide uh, to this devotional piece of ministry, no matter where you're chiming in, whether it's here in the United States, Europe, South America, Central America, Mexico, or even over in Asia. We thank you so much for your willingness to chime in and make this daily devotional piece of ministry a part of your day. So my brothers and sisters, this morning we're going to look at a couple of subjects. First of all, from Dr. Martin Luther, we're going to share some words from him on the narrow heart. And then our uh, other devotional is going to talk to us about an angel on your shoulder. So I pray that both of these will be a source of blessing to us and give us genuine real peace this morning as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So allow me to please open our time together this morning with prayer. Almighty and most merciful God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to seek and to save the lost. Graciously open our ears and our hearts to hear his call and to follow him by faith that we may feast with him forever in his kingdom through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. And so the first uh, reading we're going to take a look at is from Dr. Martin Luther on the narrow heart. And he uses as his text 1 John chapter 3, verse 23, which states that this is his commandment, that we believe, or another word is that is trust, in the name of his son Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he has commanded us. So these are serious words. Notice that these are commands. They're not suggestions by God or recommendations. So they are expectations that God has of us in which to do, not to blow off and think that we know more about it than God and and, and not adhere to these things and do as we want to do. But people are doing that. Christians are doing that. And, we, and, 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 and you got to cut it out. You know, <laughs> quit it right now. No ifs, buts, ands, anything of the sort. Okay. So let's see how Dr. Martin Luther unpacks this for us on the narrow heart. Human frailty has a heart too narrow to grasp this grace. Namely, that the Son of God died for us. The principal commandment is this, that we should believe or trust in the name of his son, not trust in ourselves, but we do. We trust in ourselves. You know, we trump trusting in Jesus. Okay. The second part of this is that we should love. Accordingly, the sum and substance is belief in the name of the son of God in love for one's brother. In the end, those people are wise who do the will of God. That is, believe or trust in the name of the Son of God and love one another. They do not love the world. No, they exercise themselves with the fruits of the love for God, and they do not pass away. For just as the will of God does not pass away, so those who do the will of God do not pass away either, but abide forever. 1 John 2.17. So that should motivate us to be doing due diligence in obeying the word of God and trusting in his son, Jesus Christ, which means being obedient to his commandments. Okay? Not blowing them off. So I pray that's going to bless us. Now, the other reading this morning is um, an angel, the angel on your shoulder. And the text for that is St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 10. 
And this is Jesus' response to the disciples when they took issue with little infants being brought to Jesus. Little infants, babies. And we got church denominations in the Reformed camp that restrict baptism to babies, which the Bible most assuredly it teaches that babies need to be baptized. Most assuredly. Yet these denominations intentionally restrict that for them. That's terrible. Should never be. So when, when, when people were bringing babies to Jesus, the disciples got offended. Jesus turned around and got offended at the disciples. And that was, let me put it in t- common English. He got mad at the disciples. And this is what he said to them. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, which that's what happens. When you restrict baptism to little infants, you're despising these little ones. Most assuredly. And Jesus says, see to it that you do not despise these little ones. For I tell you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my father who's in heaven. The angels for these little babies. And yet you want to, you know, they always have their faces of the father for these little babies. Their angels always see the face of my father. Yet we want to restrict these babies to holy baptism. That's despising one of these little ones. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us. A theme for a popular television series had angels in human form intervening in people's troubled lives. I like to imagine an angel is looking out for me. I'm not sure exactly if angels take on human form or if they are literally on our shoulders, but to be sure, God's angels are around us and are watching over us, most assuredly. All that can harm us, sin, Satan, and eternal death, were defeated by Jesus when he died on the cross for our sins and rose from the grave that Easter morning. But sin and Satan are still out there. Yes, they are. And we know we will die one day. It seems that we have a lot to fear. Angels are always watching over us, muting the forces that the devil would throw against us Christians. Just think, God the Father has charged an angel to watch over you. I mean, that should be a real comfort. I'm going to repeat that. Just think, God the Father has charged an angel to watch over you. We have our fears and we face difficult times, but we can know that angels stand between us and the devil's attempts to destroy our lives and our faith. Again, I'm not sure what all that looks like, but what a comfort and a shot of confidence it gives us to know that we are guarded by angels, even little babies. So let's not despise these little ones, okay? So allow me to pray. So dear Father, when life gets hard, let us know how you have sent an angel to watch over us. In Jesus' name, amen. So this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. And so taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's prayer. Together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, we want to profess the Christian faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. And so together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So hear our prayer, O Lord. Let our cries come to you. In the day of our troubles, we call upon you, for you answer us. Hide your face from our sins and blot out all our iniquities. Create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and uphold us with a willing spirit because your steadfast love is better than life. Our lips will praise you for you have been our help. In the shadow of your wings we will sing for joy. Teach us your way, O Lord, that we may walk in your truths and unite our hearts to fear your name. We give thanks to you, O Lord our God, with our whole heart, and we will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to our prayer and listen to our pleas for grace. We continue to pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things, Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for chiming in this morning to Peace Through the Word. Really appreciate it. Pray it has been a source of blessing to you. Beautiful day here in southern Arizona. So I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies.